Kompenz, azt mondja, most állj, ha abba a sajnál a sajnál, van azt mondja, hogy azt mondja, hogy azért nem szólnak külön. Nem szeretni sem tudni, bőle az elfó, és most mondja, hogy olcsolat, hogy tőle ti. Ez? Nem. Na, hát ezt a rövid ügyé, szeretni sem tudni, bőle ez. Na, ma van a szézet, jön, akjam. Jön, ám. Always. Csaj, csaj. Csaj, de bián mindful. Jön, ám. I try to be mindful and um, also, also I'm, hey, always ask the world for mercy, always keep asking for mercy, right? And really, you know, it's really separate, it's really, you know, separating yourself. You have to separate yourself for the Lord. You have to really make your bodies, uh, your body is a living sacrifice until you have a shine, right? But it is a level sacrifice. So I'm um, you know, try to try to reiterate really, you know, try. You have to really separate yourself for the Lord's work. Right? With the things and all the eat, you know? That's why you give you these laws to present commandments. Right? You have to be mindful. Right? Very first piece up here. Right? Um, let's go and tell you 16. You say, No, you're not at the other temple of the Most High. Right? No, you're not at the other temple of the Most High, and it's because the Most High is all telling you. If any man defy the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple is the Most High. For the temple of the Most High is holy. Which temple you are? You understand? So, that alone in itself is a big, 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 big thing. Because your body is the temple of the Most High. Right? And if you're filthy, you won't dwell, you won't dwell, that spirit won't dwell with you. You know? So you have to, you have to keep purging that temple. That temple has to purge by your fasting. You know? By things you're eating also. Right? Because, you know, you're saying that, you're saying that, you know, you love, you love your friends and you love this one, you love that one. You know, and you love your brothers. But if you're not being, if you're not clean, keeping this temple clean and holy. Right? How, 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 the most high, you want, do you want the most high to use it for your left hand side? No. You won't want that. So if you really love your brothers and you really love your friends, so, so, so to speak, so you know, so everybody's saying, right, you love the Lord. Let the Lord use you. Let your Abbasha and Asha use you. Not that he can't do it. You know, his hands could, he could do anything. We all know this. But let him use you. Yeah, so keep your bodies unspotted. Right? Keep yourself, keep yourself holy. As much as it could be with the conversation, everything. You know? Keep yourself unspotted from the world. So the spirit will use you. Yeah, you tell me to to brothers, because sometimes you'll be some way and you just if somebody says something and you know, it's like you're ready to tell them. Especially in the early stage when everybody you now came into the truth. You said you held that fire, that zeal, right? And anyway, you say you say practice, you say, you say everything, everything right there was doing. Your well, brothers were sitting there talking about, you know, everything you was doing right there. You're okay, you know, you're fasting, you're, you're watching, you're eating, you're mindful, you know, you're keeping your sabbath on par, you know, you still be on point. You know, as time passes, you get a little slow, a little laid back. But before I talk about when you was on point, you know, yeah, you're fasting, you're doing everything right, your body was good. You know, the temple used to be good. And the Lord was using you. So you know the spirit coming and dwelling to you and you're, 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 you're talking to these people and they even you the spirit that but that, that dwelling in you. You understand? Okay, the spirit moving like the wind. The spirit does move like the wind. Right? I'm a child always tell me don't quench the Holy Spirit. So if you know you're, you're feeling compelled to, to tell somebody, you have to use wisdom now. You have to always use wisdom. But you know it's it getting more, it more serious now. As it's getting later down in time. As in, the joy of the Lord coming nearer is more serious again. You have to be mindful, you have to use more wisdom, you have to apply more wisdom. You know? You have to be careful. But never you have to be careful that purpose to push the wood. You understand? You have to push that wood. So when you're feeling compelled, you know it is when you, when you, it's just the shipping and say don't be, don't be given much of chambering. You understand? Like that, you know that sex, right? And you defile any the temple. Well, it will be dirty, it will be unclean. You want to really go and preach to nobody unclean? 
you know and then that time I pass it on the clean out I said don't be given much to don't be don't be given much to chamber in that way. When you're on the clean out, bap opportunity miss it because you know what hey this person come and then really you might think my feet kind of wait to, to talk to them and you know that used to be so I should have my best to endure. You know, do it at any night and not be that on the evening, you know. Use wisdom. You understand? Use wisdom. Apply wisdom. But yeah, you need you need you got to use it. So things on your right hand. So once you study and you and you in your word, my you know, it's just so you're being you're applying. Yeah, the Lord will use you. But I be the brothers. You understand? You always have a willing spirit, a willing mind. So that help a brother. You know, helping strangers as an, an all because you know the scripture say I'm be um entertain strangers because you might entertain an angel that on our way. You know, but uh, as I say if you all wisdom at the balance all things. You understand? But to be your brother's keeper also. I want to say you right now and you are wrong your brothers, you would know, you know who would need help that, that what, what, what you could actually do. What help you could actually give. You understand? That's the example. Especially those who, who, who are home soul, who are houses to look after. Right? The Lord say um, a bishop must be one. A bishop must be that of, of um, one wife. You must have one wife. And be able to rule over your house so well. Because I'm here trying also. If you can't do that, how you're ready to, to judge Israel. You understand? So you have to try to rule your house so well also. Not be aligned in your house soul. You know, but they're looking on to you. Children sure, looking on to you. When I said example, you're walking the street, you know? The wife obedient everything. You have to set the example and stand for righteousness. So when them see you slip, what thing gonna happen to them? And then they're gonna become a hypocrite because you're gonna try to correct and chastise them now when them do some other shit. Might be the same shit you do. But they will do other shit. Because it's not the same spirit you have to understand that. It's not the same spirit you have. So to understand they won't do the same shit like you. They might do something else. You understand that why the most is all powerful. You know, call Allah. You understand for for what? For what reason? Because you make all sin equal except blasphemy and the Holy Spirit. You understand? So when you do your shit, they do another shit, they don't do the same shit as you. But it's the same shit, same sin. You know? Same, same sin. So when you do that and they see you do that shit in the snow, they feel hey, it's okay to do my shit in the snow. You understand? That way tell you the light of the, of the world, you know? It's the light of the world. So you know we have to be on par, we have to be on point as much as you have to try your best. Do the say like, you know, no man proof fake and that's look for no excuses. You got like wickedness. And the most I go jack up all if you're doing that shit. Saying, you know, well I, everybody falls short at the glory and no man proof fake and when you know you could damn well fight desires. If you have to do something wrong, hey, either go in your bed, pick up your sword and read. You understand? Go through your scriptures. Avoid it because the first, according to that, that I say, you know, the first voice, as the first voice telling nine, you know that wrong. Hey, don't do lock up, don't get no eight, no another voice. Don't get no movie to any desires. You understand? To um, die, die the scripture too, boy. Don't make provision for the flesh. Hey, don't make provision for the flesh. Cut it off immediately. You know? Cut it off immediately. You understand? Now you have temple to be holy. I have to be thinking holy thoughts, doing holy things, be among holy men. We understand? So that's what that would rub off on you, that would iron sharpen it, iron. Because the conversations they go and have is of the most high, of the glory. You know? Talking about scriptures, edifying, edification. You know, it was around holy men. They, they won't hear no kind of vile talk. Fit to end up ah, making an input into to, to wickedness and talk shit what you do in your past and all these sharpness. You know? So try your try your best you know, to make the temple clean and hold your tongue. Try to hold your tongue, refrain your tongue, refrain your mouth from, from speaking wickedness and foolishness and you know. Adding adding making that input to that negative thing. To that holy thing. You understand? Know, um that piece of piece let your words let your words always be um seasoned with salt. I believe that they might give Grace to the hearers. Let's fucking find that. No longer read that one. Grace to the hearers. That must be Galatians, I believe. Yes? Or Philippians. Galatians or Philippians, right? Ah, nah. 
Yeah, <laughs> Ephesians, that's a real good boy. Let him not say it. He said, um, Ephesians 4, verse 29, he said, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the, ed- to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. You understand? Edifying. You understand? Um, our next one, boy. Edifying for grace to the hearers. Um, let's solve this. I think it's this one I was talking about. Uh, I believe it's this one I'm going to mix up with, boy. Ah, it's collusions, yes. Let your speech be always be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how we ought to answer every man. Yes, collusions I was talking about, you know? Right? Yeah. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. You understand? So, remember them seeking, them don't know, you know. Yeah, to be mindful that hey, there was once like you lost also. You understand? So you have to be patient. Be patient to them. Be patient to them. And as the son say, you know the Lord, Lord willing that hey, they would get it. You understand? Lord willing that they would get it. You know? But be patient. But we was also once lost. Thanks to Yahweh Shai. You know? Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Which one time I was called and I was like, boy, they madness, they madness. And then I took, I took heed, you know, son? Then it was time. So remember, you don't know the time, the Lord will wake up a brother. But you know, you be patient and try. Because I always say, if the Lord will stop and give up on me and then send nobody to talk to me over and over and over, what happened to me, what that be? So I just always study me and the mostly Lord had on me and showed me. So I just keep trying my best, you know? Despite what I was giving them answer. Every other time, I would keep giving them answer, keep giving them answer. You know? You never know when the Lord gonna wake them up, you don't know what time. You know? So you have to be patient because the Lord work you doing not your own. So that way you're not supposed to really be skylacking in this office because it's not your own, you're not representing yourself. Be mindful of the archives. You know, it's not yourself you're representing. You're representing your Bashami and Shadow office. You understand that the office you're upholding. So do this thing, do this thing with, 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 fuck, with, last time I get upset now, you know? Do this thing diligent. Do this thing with, 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 with compassion, with, 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 with gladness. You know, don't do this thing with, like, you know, you're being forced. Don't make it so hard now, boy. Don't, don't be like that. Right, I am. Where's that piece of boy? Um. Do we get to make it hard now, man? Alright, um, yes, first Corinthians 9 16 and 17. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Hey, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel, right? The structure is if you don't preach the gospel. Here we say here. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, it is the dispensation of the gospel that is committed unto me. So yeah, you understand? That could be your don't fall eh? You do it willingly. If you do it willingly, a dispensation, dispensation, I believe it's a scatter. Right? Elaine, that's like Elaine, Elaine. Fish is what come your way. Go. You ain't doing your work. You know when you're supposed to be holding them up. Right? He's a fisherman also. And fish with wisdom. When you're going to catch fish in the world, carnally, you don't go and throw stones, you don't make noise. And if a carnal, like carnally, what about the Lord now? You know, you're supposed to be more diligent, you're supposed to be more wise, you're supposed to be more, you're supposed to apply more wisdom. You know, because you want to catch the fish. You want to catch the fish, and the Lord see what you want to do. You talk about that, you talk about that, you know. The Lord know your will. The Lord know your will, but your desires. The Lord know the um what it is by Lord for night the thoughts a man intends can't remember that exactly eh? but the Lord know it yeah son she so would be rewarded you know but do it as as you do it unto the Lord everything you do do it as unto the Lord because it is it is unto the Lord you know 
Now, say, brother, show compassion unto the Lord. You know, when you show them compassion, you show the Lord. You know, you see, you do turn to Him. You understand how you have to tell them, you see, if you, when you feed them and you, you, you clothe them, you make you clothe Him. When they ask, well, Lord, we never give you, you see, as you, as you do turn to one of them, you do turn to Him. You understand? You should do everything with humility and lowness of mind. Be low, uh, uh, just carry yourself low. Lord is good with pride, you know. It's like you turn to the Lord. Have compassion. Have, 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 have big precept to you know. When you talk about him, um, right, this boy. Um. Ah, the king. The difference. Yeah, this Jude one twenty two. He say um. We look at Mark four twenty one. He say, "Keep yourselves in the love of the Most High, looking for the mercy of our Lord the House High, Mashiach, unto eternal life." Because we looking for that same mercy also. You know, we just bring the laws also. So you know, I tell you to this, wherever and and and, and, and this and all everything, not the sun, but let's pass aside everything and tell them, "All right, it's okay." You know, be steady with them, be stern with them. But we just make mistake also. You know, sometimes we have to show mercy also. And so because we still look at here, keep yourselves in the love of the most high, looking for the mercy of our Lord the house, and my share can take life. But we gonna ask the Lord for that mercy, we want to be shown that mercy also. You know? He say in verse twenty two, and of some having compassion, making a difference. Make a difference, you want to be the one making a difference. That we call here for to make the difference. Right? So you know, hey Akiam. Let me show you. Right? Be strong, endure. Lakawa, hata wa lakawa. You know, fight the good fight. Right? That means fight the good fight. Right? Um, or yeah, again, Shalom Raketa, double honest to the LSL of Great Men, so not good well. And salutation to the brothers that push us with an old stance and serious, right? Let's talk, yeah.